Hi guys, it's Linda. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, I have a, a little different point of view on Adam Kokesh. So, first I'm going to read you something. And it's the code and conduct of a warrior. And this is Native American warriors. So this is kind of how we follow along. So, I'm going to have to use this from a Native American perspective. Um, here's your code of conduct. And I'll leave the links. Honesty and justice. Be acutely honest throughout your dealings with all people. Believe in justice, not from other people, but from yourself. To the true exemplar, there are no shades of gray in the question of honesty and justice. There is only right and wrong. Polite courtesy. That would be number two code of conduct. A warrior has no reason to be cruel. They do not need to prove their strength. An exemplar is courteous, even to his enemies. Without this outward show of respect, we are nothing more than animals. Number three, heroic courage. Rise up above the masses of people who are afraid to act. Hiding like a turtle in a shell is not living at all. A fighter must have a heroic courage. It is absolutely risky. It is dangerous. It is living life completely, fully, wonderfully. Heroic courage is not blind. It is intelligent and it is, in, and it is strong. Honor. A true person of honor has only one judge of honor, and that is him or herself. Decisions you make and how these decisions are carried out are, a, are the reflection of whom you truly are. You cannot hide from yourself. Compassion. <clears throat> Through intense training, the fighter becomes quick and strong. He is not as other men. He develops a power that must be used for the good of all. He has compassion. He helps his fellow man at every opportunity. In an opportunity that does not arise, he goes out of his way to find one. That is compassion. Complete sincerity. When a warrior has said he will perform an action, it is, it is as good as done. Nothing will stop him from completing what he has said he will do. He does not have to give his word. He does not have to promise. Duty and loyalty. For the warrior having done something or said something, he knows he owns that thing. He is responsible for it and all the consequences that follow. A warrior is immersely loyal to those in his care, to those he is responsible for. He remains fiercely true. Those are the codes of conduct for a Native American warrior, and it should be for every warrior, anybody that goes into a war zone, any place, act <clears throat> as a human. But if you have to fight, fight as a hero too. It's courage, it's courage. So, um, but I, this is going to deal with Adam Kokesh, too. His um, revolt, armed revolt against Washington, D.C. Now, I have sat here many years, and I've been an activist for many years, which means I have had face-to-face -face contact with people. Um, I actually go out and have protested, where some of you have sat behind your computers and talked about, protesters and what if they would have done this or what if they would have done that or they're an agent or they're a shill or they're a troll but if you just sit behind the computer and that's all you've ever done then you're not an activist that much and so you really don't have the right to judge anyone but yourself at this point I judge myself for my actions I can't judge what Adam Kokesh is doing and I really don't want to judge you if you've just are an armchair warrior. I guess you'll have to answer those questions when you meet your creator. Um, but he's going to have a revolt. That was the word, right? Everybody's been worried about. Well, I, uh, I thought I knew what the word was to begin with, and I was correct. Um, because Indians have revolted many times. It's to renounce allegiance or subjection as to a government. That's what it means. It means you're not going to have nothing to do with them no more, the way they run business. You're not their subject anymore. 
So Adam Kokesh is going to have an armed one. Now, you know, if you're carrying a gun and it's, you know, people say if you're going to carry a gun, I've heard this both ways. If you're going to carry a gun and it's not loaded, then you're not making a statement. You're just carrying a toy. So if you're carrying one that is loaded, you're actually making a bigger statement. I don't think he's there to overthrow the government. I think he's saying, I'm serious about not being your subject. And I'm not going to do any more allegiance, pay taxes, do all this stuff that we all say we hate. Everybody has sat around for years on this internet saying this. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't know I'm not going to the march because it wasn't... It's not my honor on the line. I, I'm not. But if, if you people have been sitting around saying... And, and I have not. I'm not one. I'm, I'm for peace. I think there could be a peaceful way to do this. But if you're one of those who've been on the sideline saying, we need a revolution, we need this, we need this, and you're backing down now, then you have to look in the mirror and talk to yourself about that. Um, you know, that's, that's just, I believe that the, the original 10 uh, constitutional amendments should apply. And that's it. Not all these add-ons. The pre-1871, um, or even back, just the beginning ones. Even though I can't really say I like the forefathers, because I I know that they stole land. I, I'm still here, and you're here, so you're pretty much Native American too now. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to blend us together as a community. But if you're going to do something and say something, you're going to have to keep that trust instead of saying now and I, I will personally say this I don't like Alex Jones I don't know if he's a shill or not I just know he puts me in a state of fear because he rants and raves so that's my opinion on Alex Jones it's just because I get upset after listening to him so I don't listen to him um, I don't know if he's a shill I really don't um, I don't know if Adam Kokesh is. I, so far, he's been pretty true to his word, as I can see. Um, somebody said, well, his Facebook page shows this. Well, look, my Facebook page was hacked, too. It said a lot of things about me and some other activist friends of mine. So um, I wouldn't say that's completely true. And some things you can't get off Facebook. Actually, I closed my Facebook account because it, it, it got completely crazy. Um, I had a group of Masons attack me, I guess, because I was a Native American or something. I don't know. Um, so I, I, I'm just telling you, Facebook, I shouldn't even went there. But Facebook, uh, I get away from that. That is a government-controlled little PSYOP system. So anyway, I just wanted to say how I felt about this. So um, <clears throat> for all of you guys who have been saying... Um, like, we, you know, we need to do something. I, I've seen this everywhere. And then someone stands up to the plate and says, I'm willing to do this. Will you join me? I'm asking you to. And he's asking you to renounce your allegiance or subjection to the government. Armed. So you're really serious. I mean, I don't think he's being shoot at anybody. And I know people are saying, well, they could put somebody in there. Well, of course, the government does this at every event they can possibly do. So I'm just saying, despite all that, have cameras. Take pictures. Take note of everybody around that could possibly be doing something like that. And um, as far as Adam getting arrested, it was at a, at a national park. I just want you guys to know that. And that's why the feds have him. And um, a lot of people are saying he's this, he's that. Well, he's went to several of those rallies. And whether you're for marijuana or against it, I think it should be legal. I, I'm not even legal. Um, I don't think it should be anything. It should be a not a controlled substance. It should be like roses or pansies or turnips or whatever. It's, it's, um, it's from the earth. It's not a, a synthetic substance. And it has very good properties. Um, so... I, you know, what was he doing wrong? I mean, there, that, that, I mean, we were young once. Come on, guys, the, the older people, you were young once. And, and if you say you were perfect, then <clears throat> I'll have to question that one, too, because I, I have really never met a perfect person, including myself. I look in the mirror every day. Um, but everybody, I love you. I just want to give you my little 
what I think about this. And as far as the liberty movement and this division, whatever the people call it, because I'm kind of on the outside of all of it because I have a different perspective on it. Um, I would have loved to see us come together, people of, of every color, race, um, whoever you vote for, I don't vote, um, come together and say, we're going to stand up against the tyranny. That's what I wanted to see. We were going to help humanity. We're going to help our fellow man. We're going to help our neighbor. We're going to be in the community. Wow. And now I see nothing but division. Come on, people. Let's get back to being uniting. Let's stop the division. Um, now, this is up to Adam and the people who are following him. So if they are going there to do something and, and they meant it with their honor, they have to look at themselves. You don't have to go. But I'm not going to disrespect him at this point. I just can't. So, um, peace to everybody. I don't think it's going to hurt any worse than people sitting on the computer all day um, talking about this back and forth. Him getting out face to face talking with other people um, at a rally on the 4th of July. I myself don't. Um, but, you know, that's my opinion. So, I don't want to be a subject of the government either. But I'm not going to go to Washington, D.C. Um, but anyway, I love everybody. That's just a little Native American perspective. Peace. And uh, everybody be good. And, and for those, you know, tornado victims, you know, everybody say a prayer or a blessing for them. I, I saw some of the video. That's really rough. People are going through a lot of hard times right now. You know the government's not going to help. So let's, let's be, you know, saying prayers and blessings or whoever you pray to or... Let's, let's do that because there's there's a lot of tragic stories going on out there with this weather. And I'm not going to even discuss how the weather was made. Just there's a lot of tragedy. Please, please say some prayers. Peace, love, Linda.